counter attack where am i seeing trades of even a decent more than day center back he's slow we all know he's slow he's tall but he's not that good in the air as you've as just seen his awareness is poor his timing is poor his decision making is poor Maguire is a horrible center back and, and i'm i hate to say this but he is Poor awareness, can't dribble. Again, uh, okay. So today we are reacting to Harry Maguire, more specifically his film moments, because there are still some people that try and tell me that Harry Maguire is not that bad, and that is complete insanity. So without wasting more more time, guys, let's get straight into it. And as we go along, I'll explain more and more why I think Harry Maguire is one of the worst defenders in the Premier League. Again, I'll leave the link to this video in the description if you're gonna if you want to go and check it out afterwards. And we're eight seconds in, and the first example is upon us. His awareness. He can see. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Jamal Musiala does make an effort to get to that ball, but Maguire can see that that, that, that there's a def uh, defender there, midfielder there, that who probably reach for that ball. Okay, Germany are playing a high press. They were playing a high press in this game against England. But Harry Maguire still thinks that it's a good idea to try and play that pass. And then from this play, if you don't know, Germany go on to play, go on to score. It's, uh, actually, it's even worse than what I was saying because Musella was right in front of him. And he still makes that pass. As a, as a modern day centre-back playing for one of the biggest clubs in, in England, Manchester United, the biggest club in England, for you to not even have proper awareness is insane. You need to get out of that club as soon as possible. And then he... <sighs> no, God! You can't write no, these things. No, God, please, no! No! He made no! the horrible pass. No! And then he commits the penalty that led Germany to score. His decision is poor, his timing is even worse, and his awareness in the game is awful. We're just going, we're just going in, we're step by step, one by one, to show why Maguire is one of the worst centre-backs in the Premier League. Another thing, his ball progression, as we're seeing right now, he can't dribble the ball. Again. Great goal, great goal from um, from Kai Halvitz. But in this play, what could you see? Uh, one, Maguire lost the ball up front and he lost the ball because of his bad decision making. Then he can't dribble. His technical ability is very, very poor. Which then led to Germany to come on the, on the counter attack. Where am I seeing trades of even a decent more than day centre back? He's slow. We all know he's slow. He's tall, but he's not that good in the air. As you've as just seen, his awareness is poor, his timing is poor, his decision making is poor. Maguire is a horrible centre back, and, and I'm, I hate to say this, but he is. Oh my god. Poor awareness, can't dribble. Again, I, I, I'll give him, I'll play devil's advocate here for a second. We are reacting to his film moments Maguire does also have some good moments but for your film moments to be a compilation of six minutes of short clips and for the mistakes to be this glaring it's insane it's absolutely insane awful player ball comes in what is that pass what is that pass Poor timing, once again. Gets the ball. Look at how long it takes him to change direction. Look at how poor his dribbling is. Look at how many... He can't, he can't fully turn to the other side. He can only come to the... He can be, Because he's so dependent on his right foot, he can only ever turn right. He can never go and try and go to the left and play a ball that to look sure. 
And great, uh, I think that's Kai Havertz. Great person here from Kai Havertz because Kai Havertz has shot down his left side and Maguire now cannot turn because he doesn't have the technical ability to do so. And then he makes the poor pass. Again, he's poor timing and poor decision making comes into play. Once again, poor timing, poor awareness. Own goals happen, but with Maguire, not his fault here. This is not his fault. McTominay is on the player and this guy goes and try he ends up marking McTominay that's the worst part he ends up marking McTominay it's like I think that's Weghorst that's not even a good move from Weghorst he just takes the ball to the side but Maguire the, the angle he tries to come up with McTominay was already there if he tried to at least just play the cover and anticipate Weghorst coming forward he could have won the ball better oh no it's bad it's real bad it's like eating a hot circle of garbage he can't do anything else what the same talking points awareness timing technical ability physical ability jesus christ what is that pass and of course, Liverpool go on to score from that position. Of course, they go on to score from that position. And uh, if we go back at the moment he made the pass, look at the screen right now. There's no one there. There's no one there. And it's... <sighs> Jesus Christ, this guy. Awful. Great finish by Salah. Aguero. <sighs> Done. Too slow. Poor timing. <sighs> His awareness is... Oh, God, this is bad. This is so bad. Poor timing once again. Can never land the tackle. And if you're a defender, if as a defender you know you're slow, you don't go for tackles like that. You don't commit in those position in those positions. It's poor timing, poor awareness, and he knows himself that his technical, sorry, his physical ability is not there. He can't recover from that position. He's too slow, but he still goes for that tackle in the middle of the pitch. And now we have to defend with one centre back. Getting beat every single time. That's embarrassing. Rowing the club's captain armband. That's embarrassing. Poor awareness. Once again, how do you not how do you not know that, that, that there's a player on you? Scan your shoulder. Poor timing. Poor awareness once again. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. But that's the thing with Maguire. And of course they score. What type of decision making is that? How is he a Premier League centre back? How? I don't think he's good enough to play for Crystal Palace. Jesus. Pull in, the guy is tall. And somehow, somehow he gets beat. Look at Maguire. Look at his physical presence. And somehow he gets beat by a defender that's smaller and skinnier than him. In, in a play where all he had to do was show the ball. This guy. He's so bad in the air for someone that's tall. So bad. And then, this is one of the worst Maguire plays ever. Man. How do you go on to grab Luke Shaw's arm? How? He fully takes Luke Shaw out of the play. 
And uh, of course Tottenham score. I don't think that's really his fault here. It was just Liverpool made a very good play. Great pass for Mane. How do, how do you just get blown by like that? Another example, a defender that's smaller than him, that's skinnier than him, and they always still somehow beat him. Awful. Yenacho literally goes around him. Yenacho goes around him and is left wide open. What awareness is there? Why are you marking Magu um, uh, Yenacho as well? As tall as you are, the captain of the team. <sighs> he needs to go this summer. This same summer, he needs to leave Manchester United. What is this dribbling? Of course, he's going to lose the ball. Ball coming through in the air. Another. This video is hurting my brain. Because he's doing the same exact thing time and time again. And these are different years. These are different seasons the clips are coming from. I think this is dating back to the 2019 season. All the way to uh, the most recent thing. 2022, 2021 season. These are years and years of mistakes. As a captain. This man's going to be. is about to be 30 years old. How do you not improve? Taller, stronger than the striker in front of you, but somehow you always get beat. If you know you, if you know you 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 can't recover like that, if you, because you know you're not fast, don't commit. Just don't commit. And Batshuayi is gone. Of course, he scores that. His timing is so bad. That's the main things with Maguire. His timing, his awareness, his physical ability and his technical ability. It's just, nothing's there. It's just another number on the pitch. What was that for? How does he start for England? That's not his fault. When goals happen, that's not his fault. <sighs> no, that's his fault. Your positioning as a defender, your 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 timing there to to uh, kick a ball that's coming towards you. Yo, seven times, great video, bro. Unfortunately, I can't see the same thing about Maguire. I'll leave the link to his channel if you make him some love afterwards. But with Harry Maguire, I am done with this guy. Manchester United, please get rid of him this summer. Please.